Ne artık ben yerine Ne oldu? It's this flipping pocket watch, you see. Well, don't they say that a broken clock is supposed to tell time correct like at least twice a day? That, that makes sense, doesn't it? This one, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to tell the correct time at any point during the day. So, bloody useless. Doesn't matter. Do you have the correct time on you? The time. Eh? Lunch time? Lunch time. I'm going to steal that one. <laughs> you can see I'm also going to have to keep my eye on you, aren't I? Lunch time. Oh, you should be so lucky, eh? No, it's not lunch time yet. But it is time for your uh, routine inspection. Aye. Oh. Don't fret. It's a routine inspection. Look. It says so on form. Nothing to worry about. Alright. Don't say surprise inspection or anything like that. It, it don't even say official inspection, does it? Just routine. By the numbers, you know? With lots of numbers on there. More than I can count. No, no, no. You relax. Alright. We're just gonna take a look at your workstation on behalf of the General Universal Municipal Production Firm. Alright. That's the one. That's the company you work for. Now, this routine, routine inspection is a trilateral assessment. Do you know what that means? Neither do I. But apparently, it is an assessment on behalf of union officials, that's me, investors, that's not me, owners, and qualified skilled staff. They mean the engineers, all right? Now, so what we're doing is we're taking a look one by one on behalf of me, your trade union representative, the owners of the company, and also the engineers what run it. So, you know how it is. It gets a bit murky, doesn't it? Like I said, nothing to worry about. It's a routine inspection, you see. So, to keep it all lovely and easy, I've already filled out most of the information on here. What we need to do is talk. I'll have a look at your workstation, make sure it's all up to code, and uh, then we'll have a little chat about how you're finding everything. All right, it shouldn't take long. And then it will be lunchtime, I promise, all right? All right, Ben, thank you. So, first things first on here. We've got to have a look at your workstation assessment on here, all right? So, first of all, I have to look at and assess your unit safety, all right? blew up did it so let's give that a four and you haven't had any injuries or anything like that have you no no good all right 
Next up is your comms system. All right. So let me pop this down there and take a look at the comms. I'll be going through each individual thing. I know. I said it wouldn't take long, but it might take a bit. All right. Here. You can use my pocket watch to keep track of the time. All right. All right, pet. Ah, comms. Let's see. Am I doing it right? I haven't done this in years. All right. Let's give her a go. Attention, everyone. Work harder. How was that? Doesn't look like anyone's working any harder. Let me try again. Attention, everyone. Work harder. This is your union representative, Clarence. Clarence Clarkwell. Work harder. I'll do it. All right. Does that always give you chip? Alright. But the comm system worked, didn't it? Hmm. Steam whistle. Oh, flipping heck. Now, I'm going to ask you. Do that blaring thing work all right? I don't want to set it off. Well, I'm not very popular as it is, and knocking that off will either make everyone really angry with me or make them think it actually is lunchtime. And it's not lunchtime. Check the watch. So it works. I promise. All right. All right then, <clears throat> refractor, now oh, where's that? This is it, here isn't it? All right, can I take that off? How do you know how this all works, eh? There's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Too much if you ask me. Oh. oh, have you looked in this? Oh, I suppose you would have. Is it supposed to do that? Then I suppose that's working, isn't it? Well, this is going well. Switches. Well, we know this one works. What about this one? Does that work? And this one? What about this one? It's broken. Is it supposed to do that? Oh, it's a pushy. All right. Oh, all right. So the switches all work, all hunky dory, lovely. You'll be very pleased about that. Dials. These things, is it? Oh, that. All right. That's your measuring, is it?
Does it work? I'll take your word for it. What about these? What do they control? Oh really? I'll put those back down there. This one don't move. Was that supposed to move? That one's broken. I have to raise that. Right. I'll make a note. Broken pipes. do that. That's annoying, isn't it? Isn't it? All right. Fine. We'll put a three for the pipes. Hmm. All right. Next up, cleanliness. Where's my fiddle screw? Ah, here it is. Looks clean. Well done. Oh, very clean. Well done. I'm very impressed with that. Right, um, let's see. Oh, how's your view? Beautiful. Ah, uh, well, you see, under uh, subsection two, paragraph six of the uh, health and well-being appendix or addendum, I can't remember, of the Charter of Rights for Workers, it says every workstation is required to have a window view. Now, thing is, the way they're sneaky. What constitutes window is just a curtain. Aye. So, how is your view of the curtain? I can't argue with it, can you? All right, that is the workstation assessment done. Now, on to the next part, which is my favorite bit, the union assessment now as you know I am your union representative here at company all right it's my job to make sure that you are having the best possible experience while working here mm. disregarding pay on like things outside of work that might affect your life this should be a joy so with that said, let's have a look here, shall we? One, two, hold on. One, two, three. Three cigarettes. Does that mean you've had three cigarette breaks today, so far? Well, no, it's not ideal, you see. You need to be smoking more cigarettes. Aye. 
your allotted five cigarette breaks before lunch. At this current rate of consumption, you're only going to have uh, four, I believe. And you see, the thing is, that abstinence has a negative impact on everyone else, you see. If we don't use the right to break and smoke in, those rights will get taken away. You lose it, or you lose it, you understand? I don't even smoke, but when I'm here, I'll smoke five or six before lunch, and then five or six after. Hmm. I'll even smoke some at home, just so that I don't feel too groggy the next day, like. That's right. No, no, no. Use it or lose it. Aye. If anything, take more smoke breaks. That way, we'll be able to show a demonstrative need on the part of the proletariat, the workforce, sorry, that we need more smoke breaks. And if you don't want to smoke, just have an apple or something. But make sure you set it on fire. Aye. Very poor. All right. Let's talk brass tax. You're only going to be allotted five brass tax per working month. That means you can't really stick stuff up on the walls anymore with tax, all right? Speaking of, let's get down to the nuts and bolts. Here is your monthly allotment of nuts and bolts. Now there aren't many of them, so you can't just go around willy-nilly nutting all over the place, all right? Control yourself. And again, if we use them all up though, it will show a need for more come next uh, fiscal year, all right? All right then. How would you rate your comfort in the workplace out of five? And how would you rate your representation in terms of your union, me, out of five? Good. Have you ever or will ever partake in strike action? Should you be disgruntled with your pay? Yes, that's good. Right. Do you experience photosensitivity at all? Ah, working in a cheery dungeon like this does tend to make you a little sensitive. Um, it's all right with you. We'll just test out the lights, make sure that we can still turn them off and on. And also, if it gets a bit too bright, just switch them off altogether. Uh, where is the light switch? You ready? All right, how's that for you? Good. Perfect. And how would you rate that light experience? Good. Now. Where is it? This and this. Do you wear spectacles? Are you bespectacled? I'm asking. Right. I need to measure the bridge of your nose. Right. It's something we use to uh, calculate class and whether or not you should perhaps go up to engineer or go back down to cleaning. No, 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 no. I know it's draconian and old fashioned, but it just informs the decision. So stay still if you could.
Did I say that? Right, your hat. How is it? Comfortable? Good. Hi. Well, you see. Do you know the circumference? Well, it's fine. I can take a diameter or radii. Hold that up there. Ah, that'll do. Very good. Ah, and overall, do you feel adequately represented by your elected representative, me? Perfect. All right then. Oh, now it's time for the owner assessment. Production. On a scale of 1 to 5, how would you rate your production? I see. They're like that. How many holidays have you took? Well, shall I put one? Aye. Bit different to the cigarette one. Aye. We want to use less holidays so that they give us more. How many sick days have you taken? None. Good. And uh, if there ever were action or call for action for strike, what would you do? Ah, no, 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 no. It's a yes for me, but for them, just put no. All right. A no. One. On a scale of one to five, how mobilized do you feel? All right. Not all this stuff, but mobilised as in a member of the proletariat. Aye. Do you feel like a mobilised member of the working class? Aye. Mobilised. Like, could you go down shop and get me uh, an egg? Aye. Then you're mobilised, aren't you? Family? Do you have any? All right. Now let's talk brass tacks. Oh. So you're going to have to give back the brass tacks that, that you're going to get. Um, that's because there's a dispensation on behalf of the owner. They're taking them all back. They don't want people sticking stuff up. And they're taking back the nuts and bolts. Looks like it's going to be a no nut November. Oh well, never mind. Sorry about that. How would you rate your overall happiness on a scale of one to five? Ah, I see. No, 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 not, not like, not existentially. No, please, just, just say you're fine. Aye. And how would you rate the owners? Yeah. You get the idea. All right. Last bit of the routine inspection. So, engineer assessment. First of all, we have to look at the distance. Oh, these bloody engineers. That'll be the death of me. Got the refractor. There we go. What the hell? Looks like looking into the eyes of God, that. You got a good job, you. Dial. Oh no. Yeah. you like this. I tell you what. I'll just put that. I'll tell you a secret because you made me laugh so much with that joke you did about lunch. See this? There's a secret microphone in there that listens to you. The engineers listen to you. 
Have you ever wondered what this is? It's nothing. It's just a fidget with. Keep your mind occupied. All right, steam whistle. Still works, I assume. Good stuff. How are your tools? All good. All right then. Perfect. See, the engineers want to test out a lot of the same stuff that we've already done. Dig a hole and fill it back in, isn't it? Got to check logo it was the right size. Hmm. Includes the engineers section. I'll just put a cross through it to it, make sure that everyone knows it's fine. Aye. So, just a few questions. Now, you said that the dial were fine, but I can clearly see that there's no, there's no dial in there. Is there? No. So does it work? Oh, that's all right. This is personal now. Nah. And these switches, you said that they worked. I mean, I know that one did. But when I when I flicked them, nothing happened to that. No. A bit strange, that. Aye. And aye, aye, it's fine. And the uh, the communicator, the comms device. I don't really think it did anything. I'm beginning to think that the entire workstation is a facade. Oh, well, I suppose that would be above our pay grade, would it not? All right, well, we'll leave that there. These didn't work either, did they? They're just pieces of wood. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Well, do you want the good news or the bad news? I like the good news first. You've earned it after that long inspection. Aye. The good news is, by my watch, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Aye. Well, the bad news, the bad news is it's time for a surprise inspection. Aye, so you're going to have to skip lunch. Don't worry, it won't take long. Oh, no, no, no. Like it says on the form, it's a surprise. So, so we like to keep you guessing, you know. Oh, never mind. So. Question number one about your workstation assessment. We need to assess the unit. I'm just joking. Your face. It is lunchtime. Thank you ever so much, Pet, for letting me have a look at your fake workstation. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you for that joke earlier. I'll be sure to use that. All right, now, you toddle off, get your food, and, um, well, I'll see you later on or at the next union meeting, all right? All right. See you, Pep. Bye.